Hi, have you ever wished for an anxiety free life? We all would have done because anxiety can be very unpleasant and can be disabling at times. Now we had discussed pain in an earlier episode. Like pain, is there a brighter side to anxiety? Let's explore. Welcome to Mindscape Matters a channel to discuss mental health and more. And I am Dr. Mohan Raj, a consultant psychiatrist based in Chennai, and I'll be your guide as we explore the various facets of anxiety. First and the most important advantage, like pain, anxiety plays a role in protecting us. For example, I'm talking to you now, and a snake enters this room. Now I look at the snake and find all the telltale marks of a poisonous snake. Now if I tell you, I'm a macho man, I don't have fear. This could be the last episode in this channel. Now I need to have sufficient fear to get up and walk out of the room to save myself. There is this lab which does experiments called knockdown experiments. What it means is a chemical can knock down a gene responsible for a particular trait, in this case, anxiety. So the rats injected with this chemical gets their gene for anxiety knocked down and they will not experience any anxiety. Now, the door for the lab was slightly open and one such rat escaped the lab and came into the real world. Now, who does he see first? A cat. This rat has no sense of anxiety. It might walk up to the cat, tap him and say, Hey bro, how are you? The survival of this rat depends on whether it's our favorite Jerry or whether the cat is from a Zen monastery. Humankind has survived till 2022 because of this element of anxiety. In 2020, COVID happened. Initially, we did not know what is the extent to which this virus can do damage and a whole lot of things were unknown. And there was a fear that we could contract the virus. And this fear helped us to comply with the COVID protocol. Stay at home. We stayed at home for six months. This fear helped us. And when we had to go out on an emergency, we wore masks because of the fear of catching the virus. We all know that there were some people without any fear for this virus. They did not follow COVID protocol. They did not stay indoors. They kept going out. They did not wear masks. And many of them caught the virus and suffered. I think we know the story. Next advantage. Anxiety leads us to whatever needs our attention. That a particular situation or a problem cannot be ignored for too long. We need to take action. The action could be difficult. It can cause more anxiety, but it's helpful because it helps us to focus on that particular factor or situation. Next, anxiety can help us to improve our motivation to get something done. For example, there is an exam six months away. And we are anxious about it because we haven't prepared at all. Now, this anxiety six months ahead helps us to plan properly and prepare accordingly. If you have an anxiety the day before exam, it's of no use because that anxiety will not allow you to study that day. Another example, you have been selected for a major tennis tournament, say Wimbledon. You are one of the qualifiers. You are anxious how the tournament is going to be because there are seeded players, brilliant stars who play very well. This anxiety will help you to practice regularly for four hours a day. More than that, for you to prepare for that kind of a tournament play. Another example would be in an office, there is a deadline for a project and you are anxious about finishing it on time. This anxiety will help you to plan and execute things accordingly. Now, 
When I say anxiety can improve your motivation, there can be both positive and negative aspects to it. Because if the anxiety is above a particular threshold, it can actually mar your performance by disabling you. The next advantage is anxiety provides us the energy to take action. When we are in a dangerous situation, you must have heard about this classical fight or flight reaction. The fight is the rage component, we'll talk about it later. The flight is due to the anxiety component. When you are in a dangerous situation, your adrenaline comes into play, it pumps adrenaline into your bloodstream and the adrenaline goes and acts on multiple organs. It acts on the heart and makes the heart beat faster so that blood can be rushed to important organs like brain, kidney and other parts. And your breathing becomes faster to suck in as much oxygen as possible within a short time. Similarly, adrenaline acts on multiple places. Now, one swimmer who has won gold in many Olympics and other events is always ahead of her competitors. And the journalist asked, what's your secret? And she said, I imagine an alligator chasing me. Same with long distance runners who say, I increase my speed by imagining a bear chasing me. Next advantage, anxiety can help us to choose the right responsibilities in our job that matches with our strengths and skill sets. In this graph, we have ability in the x-axis and demand on the y-axis. If the ability is high and the demand is low, we will feel bored at work. If the ability and demand are evenly matching and sync with each other, we will have a flow state. If the ability is low and the demand is high, we will become anxious. And this anxiety will help us to choose a job profile that is in sync with our strengths and skill set so that we can have more flow at work. Anxiety can help prepare us for unforeseen incidences and circumstances. Most people say this. They say, everything is going well, I'm earning very well, but I have this fear that if something happens to me, if I die, what will happen to my family? What will happen to my children? Now, this anxiety has led to a big industry called insurance. Because if something happens to me, the insurance will make sure that my family and children can maintain the same quality of life. Next, anxiety helps us to appreciate pleasant emotions. Only when we have experienced unpleasant emotions like anxiety, we know how to value pleasant emotions. For example, a prisoner of war is highly anxious that he could be killed any day or he could be tortured. And when he tastes freedom, the happiness and the value he gives to freedom is much more than all of us can imagine. Same with the relief and joy which we experience after an exam is over or after a project is completed, or after you hit many runs of a bowler whom you were scared of the previous day. Next advantage, anxiety can help in leadership. A leader, while thinking about a larger group, has to think about multiple outcomes that can happen, has to think about what can potentially go wrong, and what is the plan B if something goes wrong or a plan C. Now, if a leader is not capable of being anxious, they usually have a team of advisors, and among them, a cautious thinker, an anxious person's role is as important as another member who is very confident. For every plan the confident person puts forward, the anxious person can say, what if this goes wrong? And the confident person has to come up with alternatives or alternate plans. For example, the anxiety about climate change has enabled many leaders across the world to take decisive actions to prevent or slow down 
or even try to reverse climate change. As a leader, you often delegate work and most of the time it gets done very well. There are some who might give you false assurances. The anxiety about false assurances helps you to follow up on the work. Now again, I should warn, there is a thin dividing line between being an effective supervisor and a nagging boss. Anxiety can indicate your moral compass. If your boss tells you to do something which is fundamentally wrong, that causes anxiety. Or if the organization is indulging in something illegal, again, you will become very anxious. This anxiety can help you to opt out of that particular project, that department, or even leave the organization completely. Next advantage is anxiety improves your empathy. If somebody is narrating about their anxiety to you, you can be an excellent empathetic listener if you had also undergone anxiety at some point of time. The next advantage, a major one at that is, anxiety can help improve our emotional intelligence. Often, we try to suppress unpleasant emotions by ignoring them or trying to deny them completely. On the other hand, being aware of our anxiety, allowing ourselves to experience anxiety, accepting it and talking about it will help to improve our emotional intelligence. The last advantage, and if you ask me, I would say is as important as the first one. Anxiety can help us to introspect and grow. We sometimes become anxious for no apparent reason. There are no external stressors, no patterns of thought which can create anxiety. And we wonder, why am I anxious? What is anxiety trying to tell me? This question, what is anxiety trying to tell me, is important. It helps me to introspect and grow. It helps us to introspect and lead to abundant growth. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, please tell four of your friends. If one of your friends would love to watch this in Tamil, inform them that the same content is available in Tamil also. See you next Friday. Until then, remember, Mindscape matters. See you. Bye-bye.